Outlook Web App, also known as Outlook on the Web, has an interesting feature, and that is it has shortcuts that lets you do different things. But what if you're used to Gmail shortcuts or Yahoo shortcuts? Well, Outlook has the ability to fix that, so you can uh, gain access to those. So if we click on the gear and click on Options in the upper right-hand corner, and we click on General, then we click on Keyboard Shortcuts. So let's take a look at this. The first one is you see that by default, Outlook is the one that is automatically checked. If you want, you can change it to Gmail, Yahoo, or Outlook.com. Or we can turn off the keyboard shortcuts if we want. So what do these mean? Well, if we go with Outlook, for instance, I've got some shortcuts that are here. And you can see, for instance, if we want to create a new email message, we would just do a Control N. And if we wanted to do a forward message, we would do a Control shift f or just shift f And we've got Calendar. We've got all different kinds of uh, shortcuts. And you, all you have to do is do a quick web search and type in, for instance, Gmail shortcuts. And it'll tell you uh, what the different shortcuts are if you decide to choose the Gmail shortcuts over the Outlook shortcuts. And then once you change it the way you want it, you can click Save. For instance, if I am in Outlook, I can do a control N and we'll see a new email appear. And there's my new email. So all these different types of shortcuts that are out there using the various different uh, versions such as Gmail or Yahoo, you can just do a quick search for those and you'll know what each one of the shortcut options look like. So that's how you change the different brands of email shortcuts in Outlook on the web, also known as Outlook Web Access in version 2019.